Remember to look at the answer choices first and kind of rank them, see if there's any tier one answers that really have uh, strict rules. The colon is the only one here that really stands out as having a very strict rule that we need to follow for our sentence structure. We really want to have a complete sentence before the colon. We have some flexibility for what comes after, but uh, it could be a sentence, it could be a clause. So let's focus, focus first on that, that initial part, right? Do we have a sentence beforehand? Otherwise, if we don't, we're, we're stuck. So it's a long sentence. Um, as cheese making practices spread throughout Europe and Asia during and after the Neolithic, so that's just an intro clause. Divergent strategies per, for preserving milk emerged. That's a sentence. Divergent strategies for preserving milk emerged. Okay, so that checks off. Now, I'd still want to know what's going on after because that might affect things. I, I, like I said, this could be a sentence. Or it could be a clause, just a, an extra clause. But if it is a sentence, then I, I don't really have a choice. I would have to pick C here because none of these other options allow me to join sentences, right? We would need some sort of punctuation to connect sentences. We could do a conjunction like and, but we would need a comma with that. So that, you know, is kind of scary by itself. And maybe a comma by itself could connect another clause here, but we have to then think about how uh, the colon and the and the comma would be different for connecting clauses. So if this is a sentence, I'm kind of stuck and I've got to pick C. So let's see what we got. Whereas rennet coagulated cheese making became key to milk preservation in Europe and Southwest Asia, acid heat coagulation methods became common among nomadic herding populations of the Northeastern Eurasian steppe. So this is a sentence. It's right here. So that's sentence two. So that's it. Done. It needs to be C. Now, this is weird because whereas is not a word that we associate with the beginning of a sentence, right? That That's very strange. And so if we put the colon there, we are basically saying we are starting a sentence with the word whereas. Normally, we see that in the middle of a sentence because we're using it to create a contrast and we're going to put it on the, uh, the end to show where the contrast is happening. So this is the SATs, you know, a common move that they make, uh, which is to write sentences that you are not going to write yourself. And they're grammatically correct sentences but because they're so weird for you to hear. You just assume that they are wrong. But that's why we're not really listening when we have punctuation questions. We're, we're listening for sentences, but we've got to be careful that we're not drifting into just listening for what sounds good. There, there's going to be structural reasons why things sound like sentences or not. So I think what we probably would say if we were writing this is something like acid heat coagulation methods became common among nomadic herding populations of the northeastern Eurasian steppe, whereas rennet coagulated cheese making became key to milk preservation in Europe and Southwest Asia. So we would take that whereas clause and pop it at the end, but they're doing it at the front. Now, if I were putting it at the front, I would do something more like although. Although rennet coagulated cheese making became key in Europe and Southwest Asia, acid heat coagulation became common in the Eurasian steppe. Your although to me is a much more common word to kind of start off an extra clause that, that starts a sentence that leads into a contrast. Um, it's just more common. I don't have any other reason to, to use that word other than that, that just is what you typically see. And whereas is typically a word that kind of appears in the middle where the contrast happens. But obviously, you could do both. And so they're messing with you by doing an uncommon thing that is still totally grammatically legal. But I think I'm really helped here just by the fact that I looked at that colon first and I, I had a plan and I went into that, that passage with a plan and I didn't let the weirdness of the sentences derail that plan. I just, I kind of knew what I was looking for. I knew what I was testing. I understood my task and it, it works out. This is the kind of thing you really don't want to get wrong. If you memorize the rules, this is weird, but if you stick to the rules, there's only one right answer and it's really not debatable.